audio jungle. Hello, welcome back to my channel again. It was a long time without any video. I decided to come in forest and I decided to come for my training too. I was gonna make today a test. The test of the year. And I want to say, TVK, have a nice day. I'm coming close to you. Punisher Beast Mode Here we are my choco coffee is ready and now we're gonna see what can do my knife It is not so comfortable to make this kind of job also because I'm seriously scaring to lose my fingers I want to use in this position because I want to be sure how long you can perform this kind of small uh, I mean works I'm trying to make it uh, a hammer I guess it would be better if I'm gonna hit with this of course with this I have first to create hammer This small kind of buttoning, uh, this wood is, uh, I don't know the English for, but I will let you know. It's uh, really quite dry, so, but it's going to cut the wood quite easy. I want to do right now, just uh, little bit dry about feather stick <laughs> it's not easy to control it but also me I'm not so good at the, as a feather stick man it was never my fantastic skill. Whatever. Just a little bit. And it's performing quite, quite well. Of course, guys, this is not so, so easy because it's uh, quite heavy, the knife. Some extra chop here.
Let's go to check little bits. So, we finished the test. What about this test? We start from the first part. About this uh, hammer that I did, you know, I use, first of all, gomboy to cut it around, you know, to make a room to avoid to split all the all the piece of wood after that uh, work on it it was you know quite hard i mean not at least for the shape not at least uh, for the um, uh, you know dimension it was more about uh, thickness of, of blade it is too heavy it is possible of course in a kind of emergency situation if you are on the boot you know you can you can do it it is not a big trouble make it 10 of this hmm, it can be a big big trouble anyway after I start to buttoning as you see it was going really fast down first of all because the weight of the blade is uh, quite uh, heavy so just one small acceleration small shot and it's going down a lot uh, as you see also feather stick there you know it, it is possible to make it feather stick of course it's not a kind of knife like this that is made exactly to make these things so uh, what about this knife i can tell you this knife into the boot if you go to make a shelter it help you a lot if you go to make a fire you can do it it is not a big mess if you want to make some hammer or you know some big work on a 
not like extra fine or you know, extra like special tricks and stuff like that. But it's possible to work. About the splitting, when we split, when I chop the those piece of wood, you just like do the work alone. There is not any, you know, kind of, uh, you know, big big trouble, and you don't feel uh, any effort on your shoulder. It works fantastic, really well. The last test I did, it was on that big 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 piece of wood right there it was not exactly uh, intact inside because you know a little bit i don't know how is it uh, full of stuff anyway it was a big one uh, i didn't use here any paracord and it could be help a lot honestly without sometimes you know <laughs> it's the the weight it's high and so you know it's going to move out from your hand but with some paracord here, it will be secure on, on your uh, wrist and it will work fantastic. I was surprised, really, really surprised when I start to chop uh, that big one because I didn't suppose that it could work so good. But as you see, I work on this big, big piece of wood like around 3-4 minutes and it's gone. We're gonna see now the knife closer and I will explain you better how it's made. Cheers. So, on the first view, that is the cutting edge. It is intact at all. There is not any microchip. There is just anything. Really, really 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 good job I can feel it still it's uh, really sharp we're gonna test after I, I guess I have some piece of paper in somewhere and we can test it so uh, this one it is homemade uh, micarta he's made by um, epoxy and uh, some black pigments and also there is inside a uh, chip of wood uh, this is like C70, so as you see, <laughs> rust, it's, it's easy to, to have it, and there is no way to don't have it, but you know, me honestly, I don't care about this, this, this kind of uh, steel, it's working good for the activity in the wood. As you can see here, it was quenched into the oil, and I put some uh, silicone up here to make it the spine. Uh, more soft and the cutting edge harder in that way I can have more uh, uh, you know uh, elasticity of the blade and in the same time with a good quality of cutting edge and uh, the effect in the end is this one it's quite nice I like, I like a lot I really like a lot I will sacrifice the tea bag you know we're gonna see what happened now Let's try something. We will see if the strop, in this case leather sheet, it made some extra work. Guys, this is C70. What tell you, DBK. That is my challenge knife. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's not yet a challenge knife. Only you know what I mean about challenge knife. This is the prototype. 
I can tell you it's working really, really well. But I can tell you that you will have a big, big surprise about 4 mm thickness. That is unbelievable. This one, if you want to enjoy the weight, if you want to enjoy the beast inside you, you can use it. It's fantastic. But can be because you know I'm a crazy guy. Can be that I will give you for a present. But you have to be quite nice with me. You must to make a lot of stuff for me. You have to do nothing. Just when you invite me there in Holland, I want to come to you. I want to stay in the boot with you. Just destroy something. Guys, anyway, stay happy, stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you next video. Bye bye.